Hi guys. So it is a beautiful day and I thought I would take you guys through kind of like a mini a day in the life. I usually start my day with yoga. You don't get to see that. And I kind of sit outside and I like to drink some coffee and kind of set my like intention for the day. I pull my little planner out. Usually I have a list from yesterday of things that I kind of leave for myself to do today. And I usually in the morning wake up and I, when I sit out here, I think about are those things realistic and what can I actually get done today? So uh, yeah, we're gonna sip coffee and have some fresh air and then we're gonna go work in the studio for a little bit. So I have something I was working on yesterday that is on the form. I am going to finish it up, make sure I have done all my notches and all that good stuff. And I'm gonna probably pull it off the form and get the pattern finished for that. So welcome in. finished that other pattern and I'm going to be working on a new one. The next one I'm going to do is going to be a knit. So if you're wondering why I'm not working in regular muslin fabric, I'm working actually in a knit fabric. That's kind of similar to what I'm going to be using. Here we go. So far, not too bad. I managed to get that other pattern done got most of this next dress draped out we'll probably work on the pattern tomorrow but for now i'm going to catch up on order stuff and emails and maybe edit a video so this is what i ended up with i came back in i took a little break had fresh eyes and decided i didn't like kind of what i was doing up here before so i switched it up a little bit now all i have to do is actually just take out the form and make it a paper pattern. You might have noticed this is maybe not the fanciest paper. I like to use this kind of like packaging paper to always do my initial patterns. And that way it gives me a little wiggle room in terms of like making corrections and I'm not wasting like, like oak tag paper it can be kind of expensive. So I like to do my final patterns in that, but this is pretty good for just an initial like figure it out moment. Just check the pattern, make sure everything lines up, then I'll put notches in it. And this is kind of what I will do before I move on to the next step. I might have to call it in a little bit cause I'm getting a little tired and standing up Draping and patterning doesn't look like it, but it can actually be a little hard on your back and my dogs are barking, so. That's kind of a typical day for me. I've managed to get a couple patterns knocked out, get them kind of checked. So I did stop a couple times today to eat, obviously. I stopped to make some phone calls and I just wanted to share a little bit of like the day-to-day -day kind of nitty gritty. I'm tired. <laughs> So at this point, I have been up since maybe 7, 7.30, and it is closer to a little after 6. So I think I'm going to maybe call it for today, which is good because I can get some fresh eyes for tomorrow to see if I um, what I did today made sense. <laughs> uh, you know, when you start to get tired, I feel like you start to kind of make mistakes and stuff. So I can tell when I start to slow down. That it's maybe time to tap out for the day but you know the drill like subscribe let me know if this is the kind of thing that you want to see from me just like daily day in the life kind of stuff maybe comment down below let me know if there's a part of what i'm doing that you are actually more interested in yeah i'll see you guys next time bye